Welcome back to another AQ3D video. We're going to be jumping right into this one. We're going to jump over to the Battle on Trade district by typing in the command join Battle on Trade. And we're going to be talking to Duffos. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. And we're looking for his brother. You're going to find that guy in the Mount Ashfall camp. There he is. Right there. So we found his brother. At this point, you need to find someone willing to help Arjun. Jump to the Green Guard Forest and talk to Robina. Then you'll be able to turn this quest in. If you do not have Ranger class tokens, talk to Robina and in the Ranger class, you will find the Ranger training in the training thing. You'll find that you can get the tokens just by completing this right here. You need to get the Mother Hen and the Tophus the Blade Dog. Now we need some strong branches, which we're going to be getting from the big overgrown stalker guy, which you will find across the bridge. So you can either go across the bridge or you can just run right up here. It doesn't really matter how you get there. But this guy here, level 5 apparently, but he's got 65,000 HP. So it's uh, quite time consuming to take him down you're gonna need to take him down five times this guy does have loot that you can get so if you want to grab some of that you can if you don't see the big guy right away then just keep killing these guys until he spawns and once you've got that done you can turn that quest in at this point we're going to be getting some carved bow once we train with arjun or arjun i'm not sure how to say that and we're going to be going to meet arjun oh they recycled this map haha <laughs> Okay, interesting. So I guess we just have to take him down. And he doesn't seem to pose much of a threat. We're going to jump over to Mount Ashfall Camp. And we're going to get the carved bow. So one of Arjun's tabards. Tabards? I'm not sure how we say that. So we need to sew that. Now you're going to head to the Dragon Slayer camp and talk to Cinna here in the Cinna Stitches. You're going to be finding Drake Hunter Striker Tabard. Tabard, I'm not sure. I'm probably saying that completely. Tabard, maybe? I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, this is what you're going to need. And you're going to need occult green dye and clothing bundles. To get those, we're going to be jumping over to Winnie in Battleon. So talk to Winnie and you are going to be grabbing some quests. So she has several, or well, I guess just two quests. You're going to be needing the fabrics and leather from grabbing this quest and running through that. And then you're going to be needing to do this quest as well. The reason why is because you need three of these clothing bundles. If you're like me, you're just going to skip that by buying the three that you need instead of crafting them because it's just so much quicker for me. In the tailoring dies, you're going to be finding the occult green die that you need, but you need a daily boss trophy. And you're going to be needing one of these. In order to get that, you will need to run the daily boss. Where, where is it? Is it in? Oh, there we go. Daily boss fight. So you just go there, grab the quest that's in that location and beat it and then turn it in you'll get your daily token and then you can simply go here and get the occult green die that you need once you get what you need you can craft that oh goody i thought it was going to be like a 10 minute timer or 20 minute timer or two day timer but it was instantaneous so good to know we can head back to the mount ash for and turn that quest in Now we need some resilient bow strings as we're going to be needing the resilient silk. There used to be a shortcut to the map I'll show you, but unfortunately that shortcut does not work anymore. So now it's a manual thing. You need to come down here and, oh wait, is it lower? Oh yeah, it's right here. And you're going to have the rocks right here. It says you need a crystal mining pickaxe equipped in order to break through this and get access to this location. So we're going to be jumping to the magma mines and we're going to be going all the way down here 
and then across this treacherous lava place and into here. This is the Magma Mine Pass. Talk to Smeevil. And in the Smeevil's Crafts, you're going to be finding the Crystal Mining Pickaxe. You need the wooden grip and the metal scrap. In the quest here, you're going to find a stone-like grip. This is the one you need, and you need the burning or burnt wood. So you grab that, and it tells you to go to the lower fire field. In this location, you're going to be finding the burnt wood right here. Just click on the trees right here. Click on all these ones, and you can just continuously run around tapping on them as they will respawn every, like, I don't know how long it takes, but can I not? Is that one not? No, it's not? Okay, fine. These ones respawn very, very quickly. So there we go. Bing, bang, boom, and that is done. And then you can type in join mine pass to get back to this map. Turn that quest in and kill these things right here for the metal scrap. And then you can craft the pickaxe. Once you have it, return to the bottom of this thing down here and mine it out or just tap I guess this guy's doing it I don't know if that in affects me wait can I go in what really so if somebody else does it I don't need the pickaxe because I don't think I mind it it he mind it I'm not sure. Maybe you don't need to have it. Maybe somebody else needs to have it. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, it doesn't take very long to get it. So you can skip that. Blah, 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 blah. And then I just realized you don't need to talk to them. What you get to do in here is kill the crystallized spiders. This is what you want to take out in this location. Going back to Mount Ashville Camp, we can turn this in. And now we need some fletching. We are off to the Sand Sea Desert. And we're looking for those ravens. Now you've got some right there. But there's also some right in here. And in this area you don't die from the desert stuff. The heat or whatever it's called. So it's a little bit better to fight in here. As you do have consistent water source. I guess you could call it. And now you're going to be heading back to Ashfall. Turn that one in, and we need bundles of arrows. In tasks to be completed, you will find the bundle of arrows, and it shows what you need. Now, you need the feather fletching, but you also need the dragon metal ingot. Back at the dragon slayer camp, if you talk to Cinna, you will find in the crafting, material crafting, I should point out is the dragon metal ingot but in order to get that you need obsidian ingots and uh, ingots is it ingots or ingots i'm not sure and then you've got the dragon crest so you will be needing four of these and which means you need four of these you'll also be needing eight obsidian ingots now there are multiple ways of getting it you can find it from these things you can get some refined obsidian ore or you can just get obsidian ore and craft these and so i mean it doesn't take very long to get it there are several different ways of getting the dragon crest but the one that is probably the most recommended is to fight valak right down here because he drops it pretty frequently now there is another option you have as well which might actually be faster depending on your rng if you run up here you will be finding this dungeon right here and you can run this on unscaled run until you get to the end of the dungeon and then just kill the big guy and he's not going to take very long once you're on the unscaled it's going to take just a little bit and he drops the dragon crest pretty much every time so this might be a faster method to run this dungeon but like i said valak is also pretty fast at this point you're going to be waiting 10 minutes for your craft to finish this is only for one of the bundles you're going to need three more bundles so 
hopefully you have something else to do while you wait for this or you can just watch Netflix or something. In hindsight, what I should have done was crafted the amount I needed to get the first bundle. In fact, that would probably be a better idea is to just craft the first five bundles. So you'd only need one ingot and then the feather fletching, which you already have. So you'd only need one ingot of this, go and craft it and then go and farm the others. That would give you something to do while you're waiting for these to craft. You're going to be needing some dragon trophies for later on in the quest. So if you don't have any, make sure that you do the dailies because you've got these two dailies right here that you can do. So make sure that you do those so that you can have those tokens for when you need them later on. Woo, okay, so we finally got what we need. We're gonna turn that in, and now we need to craft striker bows. So I'm not exactly, sh oh, striker, oh, there we go. So we need leather straps, carved handle, the carved bow, which we already got the thing, that which we already got as well. So in order to get these two things, you're gonna need to head to the class trainers. Talk to the rogue class thing in the shop. You're going to be finding the leather straps. Talk to the mage and you're going to be finding in the shop the carved handle. Now it says this is going to be taking one hour and this is where I'm going to be leaving the video because I don't feel like waiting for a whole hour before I continue. Keep in mind, there are five bows to craft. Each bow takes one hour to craft. So you've got quite a while before you're going to be completing this quest. Now I will be doing a follow up video to this video once those five hours is up, but I did want to mention the final quest of this quest line will be requiring you to have 200 ranger tokens as well as 200 dragon slayer tokens. So you can get the ranger tokens from completing these quests. So you're probably gonna have to do, if you've already done them once, if you're a guardian, you can do this one here as well, but you will be needing to do this quest to get the amount that you need. You can also head over to the Dragon Slayer tent and talk to Galanoth so you can do the training here to get this one here. Now it's going to be at least two days before you're going to be getting the amount you need if you don't have any already. If you aren't sure how many you have, you can check in your classings to see for instance my ranger i have 1000 so i have plenty and for my dragon slayer i have over 1000 so i have enough tokens for those i don't have to worry about not having enough also as i mentioned make sure to get the dragon trophies you need if you don't have any because you are going to be needing three which will take you two days to get that amount possibly three if you can't find anybody to run the extreme challenge with but that is it for this video i'd like to thank everybody in the community who worked together to solve these quests i'd also like to thank everybody in the ae federation who posted helpful tips regarding these quests that is it for this video hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one